Before I start this video, there are two things that you need to know. One, there is a fan on in my room because it has been so hot lately and today has been extra hot that I just can't even bear to turn it off. So I'm sorry for the extra buzzing. And second, my roommate is going to be in the room the entire time I film this video. So if I seem a little awkward at sometimes, I'm just still getting used to the... Oh, sorry. <laughs> she turned my little extra light off just now. But I'm still getting used to filming in front of someone, so... I'm sorry for that. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel, or if you're new, welcome to my channel. My name is Brittany, and today I'm going to be filming my skincare routine. More generally for like the nighttime and stuff when I'm like coming home after classes or hanging out with my friends or something like that. I've been wanting to do my skincare routine for a while. It's just one of those videos that I personally enjoy watching, so I thought if I made one, you guys would enjoy watching it as well. So I don't want to wait any longer to get into it. Let's just start the video. So usually during the school week, I do wear makeup to classes. So at the end of the day, what I'll usually do is I'll take my makeup off and I use the Clean and Clear Night Relaxing All-in-One Cleansing Wipes. Most people I know end up using the Neutrogena ones, and I think those work great as well, but I actually prefer these ones just because they specify that they're oil-free, and so, like, I think it does a better job of removing your makeup and trying to help prevent acne from underneath. I think that's what the true goal of it is in general. I think it's just a little better than the Neutrogena one, which is why I get this one. It's the same price. I generally prefer Clean and Clear. So yes, these are the wipes I will use for my whole face. I would use one now, but I am not wearing any makeup except for mascara and eyebrows. I find my eyes to be a lot more sensitive and any type of makeup wipe really just generally like burns my eyes and I don't enjoy it. So for taking my eye makeup off, I like to use the simple Sensitive Skin Experts Eye Makeup Remover and my grandma was my the one who actually showed me this and I think it works so good. It's super gentle on my eyes like and it does a really good job of pulling off all the mascara because I usually put a ton of mascara on my eyes and it's really soft and really gentle I only have this little bottle at school and I'm halfway through so I'm gonna have to buy a new one soon but I just use like a cotton iPad and I just wipe scrub and it comes off really good so on days of my skin I feel like it's looking really dull or not up to its usual standard I will do some type of face mask and I have two kind of general go-to's one is usually a mud type of mask and this one I think the brand is Freeman but I'm pretty sure it's like associated with Walmart and stuff and this is just the charcoal and black sugar mud mask um, this one I find to be really good charcoal for my skin works really well at help purifying it and reducing acne which I really like I'm also a huge paper mask person and I know a lot of people don't like them because they really don't think they're doing anything but when it comes to like soothing calming nourishing I feel like they're really great for that because it's soaking in all that product that was on the sheet mask and just putting it in and after you take it off I tap it in really good and stuff and make sure I get all that excess product into my skin for like removing an acne stuff I really don't think it's that great but for like helping regenerate the skin not regen regenerate you can't regenerate skin can you like rejuvenate, rejuvenate. that's the word thank you Liv <laughs> um, and the one I have here which I'm actually going to do for you guys because I really want to do a face mask today is the yes to cucumber soothing calming paper mask I think yes to is really good it's really on the cheaper side and is still very effective got a clip Yeah, I would say my skin has actually been doing really good lately. I just have a few problem pimples. This one right here for sure. But other than that, my skin has been doing really good at school. I'm just unfolding my sheet mask right now. This one feels really good. It actually smells like cucumbers. Okay, I'm gonna set a timer. Where's my phone? 10 minute timer, started. 
Let's chit chat, guys. <laughs> oh, it's a cucumber face mask. Now we know why it smells like cucumbers. Oh, I remember what I wanted to do. I wanted to take a thumbnail like this. <laughs> guys see I did a cute little display of all the products appreciate it please while we're here let's take a moment to just plug myself I have a blog katenbrit.com if you want to check it out we do a lot of lifestyle beauty and fashion posts they might be into so plug timers Done. Time for the face mask to come off. Yeah, you can see how like my face is like glistening looking. That's that's all the product. And then what I like to do is pat it in directly. Sorry, I'm looking into the viewfinder. My skin looks a little red right now, but it's you know the sheet mask product soaking in. So if I were to be washing my face, my go-to product that I always use is this Cetaphil, Cetaphil, sorry I don't know the correct pronunciation, daily facial cleanser for, clen cleanser, cleanser for normal to oily skin. I love this because it's super, super gentle on my skin. It like leaves no noticeable like I feel like some face washes leave like residue on my face. I'm not sure why it like sinks into the pores and then like shows up later on. But this one is super nice and super gentle and like it just does a nice job to my skin. Like I don't feel like I'm irritating it or anything. And then I top it off with the matching Cetaphil slash Cetaphil, sorry, moisturizing lotion body and face for all skin types. I love this moisturizer because it's not, I hate moisturizers that have um, collagen in it. I'm just not a fan of the smell and the type of texture it is. This one is super smooth on my skin but it actually feels like it's like sinking into my pores and actually doing something like it gives like such a nice skin feel. Obviously it's moisturizing but like better than like other ones have like 100% recommend this. Now for spot treatments there are two different types of things that I do just depending on the day depending how I'm feeling. The first one is this Aquaphor Healing Ointment Advanced Therapy for minor cuts, scrapes, and burns. Clinically proven to restore smooth, healthy skin. Now this specifically has nothing to do with like acne or, oh, it's dermatologist recommended. That must mean it's good. I do use it on my acne and I do say it helps clear it quicker. Sorry, that was so hard to get out. But putting it on there, I noticed the next day it is visibly less red, visibly less on the surface, starting to go away, diminish things like that, which is what I need. And it does a really good job. This product was recommended to me by my friend Emily for my tattoo for an alternative to help take care of it. And then I just started putting it on my acne one day and I noticed that it did a really, really good job. So 10 out of 10. The other option I do for pimples that are more like fighting with me and refusing to go away after a few days and I just really need to target it and get it out, I use this little baby right here. It is the Mario Badescu Drying Lotion and ooh, this was not cheap. I think it was like $17 for this tiny bottle but I told myself I was going to try it out and if it didn't work, I would return it. I'm allowed to do that. And I liked it. I thought it kicked butt on my acne. And for this tiny little thing, you only need a little baby amount. And it does the job. Like, it fights the acne. And, like, if you have a pimple that is not going away, this is going to fight it. And this is going to get rid of it, I swear. I put it on, not every night, obviously, just for really bad pimples. But I put it on right before I go to sleep. And then I wake up and check out my results. 
and the very last thing I wanted to mention was about my lips because your lips are the most sensitive skin that you have so it's very important to take care of them and for me I used to have really bad dry cracked lips all the time there was nothing that would save them I would put Vaseline just general basic Vaseline on like three times a day and I barely felt they were healing because weather is constantly changing and my lips get affected so easily and my savior was this bad boy right here Lucas Papa ointment it is actually an Australian thing I found out but I get it on Amazon for like eight dollars and it is amazing I started using my friend Caitlin's she had it and I started to notice a difference in my lips I started to notice they were starting to heal they were not looking cracked all the time like they looked like actual lips and so I bought myself one there's like tape on the top and stuff because the top broke open because I had it like shoved in my bag but it's still doing the job and this is like the only lip product I use the only lip product I recommend it is the best thing to save your lip my lips have thanked me for this so this is a great great product if you have really dry cracked lips okay so that is all of my skincare routine products that I use and I hope you guys enjoyed this video I had a lot of fun making it and telling you guys these products because I love these videos as well if you enjoyed it press that subscribe button down below it would mean a lot to me if you would hit it and I think that's all I have to say so I will see you guys next week bye